Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video I want to talk about long division and how you can teach long division to your students. First of all, there are a few things that children need to know before they can learn long division. And those I have listed here. One is multiplication tables, obviously. And the next is basic division with single digit divisors based on multiplication tables. And then division with a remainder, again based on multiplication tables. For example, 65 divided by 7 equals 9 and remainder 2. Children need to be able to know how to do that. And then they are ready to learn long division. And in a long division, I have one example here. The steps that we usually follow are written here. First we divide, for example, 5 is divided into 8. How many times does 5 go into 8? That's the division part. Then we multiply, 1 times 5 equals 5. Then we subtract, 8 minus 5 is 3, and drop down the next digit, which was 9, here. And these steps are repeated over and over until the division is done. And what can seem difficult for children is that, first of all, there's many steps like this, but that we're multiplying and subtracting in the middle of division. And these two steps here, multiply and subtract, have to do with finding the remainder. And these are the steps that can seem confusing to children. And now I'm going to show you a way how to teach long division in several different steps, little by little, so children can learn why we are finding the remainder and uh, can learn why the whole thing works. In step one, we will start out the children with some easy divisions, where the division is exact in all place values. For example, here 3 goes evenly into 3, 9, and 6. So there's 3 hundreds, 9 tens, and 6 ones. And we divide 3 goes into 3 one time. And of course, this means now hundreds. And then 3 goes into 9 tens three times. And 3 goes into 6 ones two times. And the answer is 132. And children should check it with multiplication. Multiply 132 times 3. Another example is here 2 goes into 4,000 2 times, 2 goes into 0, 100, 0 times, 2 goes into 8, tens, 4 times, and 2 goes into 2, once. This last example I have is a little bit different because here we have 5 and then 100, and 5 doesn't go into 1 evenly. But if we think of it as 15 tens, then 5 goes into 15 evenly. So we can write down 0 for the hundreds, and then 3 tens, and then 1. The goals of this step is, first of all, to let children become very familiar with the notation, because they might not know it beforehand, where we have this division symbol like this. It looks like a corner. I call it the division corner. The number we divide goes inside the corner, and then the divisor goes outside, and the answer goes on top. And the, the second goal we have here is to think in terms of how many times does the divisor go into these numbers. Instead of thinking that 4 divided by 2 is 2, we think how many times does 2 go into 4. And this is probably very easy for children. And then we will go to the second step where we have a remainder. But the remainder is in the ones. So it is the easiest way to start. For example, 3 goes into 3 hundreds one time, 3 goes into 9 tenths three times, those are exact divisions, and then 3 goes into 4 one time, but not evenly. There's a remainder, okay? And children can write it right here at first. And then we will continue from this, where we will actually find the remainder by multiplying and subtracting. But it is okay in the beginning for them to just write it here if they do it mentally. If they find the remainder mentally. 4 goes into 8 hundreds two times. 4 goes into 0, 0 times. And 4 goes into 6, one time. And there will be a remainder of 2, okay? We know that. But now we will practice the multiply and subtract step for finding the remainder. So we go 1 times 4 is 4, and then subtract 2. And that gives us the remainder in the ones. And uh, similarly here, 2 goes into 6 three times, 2 goes into 2 
one time, two goes into zero, zero times, two goes into five, two times, and now two times two is four, and subtract, that finds us the remainder. So the total answer here is 3,102, remainder one. In the next step, we have a remainder in the tens, and we are just using two digit numbers at first, in order to keep the divisions as short as possible. Here, we start out, three goes into eight, or eight tens, two times. But that is, a, that is not an exact division, there's a remainder. So to find the remainder, we now multiply and subtract to find how many tens are left over. Two times three is six, and subtract to find the two tens are left over. And now the two tens are combined with the one one by dropping down a digit. This dropping down the digit is actually addition. We're adding the two tens and one. And now we divide three into 21, so seven times. And that is exact. Some people stop here and because they know it was exact. And some people continue, seven times three is 21, and subtract to find the final remainder is zero. Another example, seven goes into nine tens once, but it's not exact, so that's why we have to now find the remainder by multiplying and subtracting. 1 times 7 is 7, and subtract to find the remainder of 2 tens. And now we add the 8 to these 2 tens by dropping down the digit. And then 7 goes into 28, 4 times, 4 times 7, 28, and no remainder. After children master this step, then they are ready to divide longer numbers, three or four digit numbers. But we will have to, of course, go through these motions many more times. And for example, three goes into seven hundreds here, two times. And two times three is six, and subtract to find the remainder of one hundred. And this one hundred is now combined with the tens. There's one ten here, so the digit is dropped down and we divide into three, 3 into 11, or it's actually 11 tens. 3 goes into 11 3 times. And then again, it's not exact, so we find the remainder. 3 times 3 is 9. And now we have a remainder of 2 tens. And that is combined with the 1 1, or added, these two are added, 1 and 2 tens. And 3 goes into 21 7 times. So it is again an exact division. And similarly, we would do it with this, as you know. 